Hello, I am the main coordinator. I make sure everyone knows what they're doing when they need it done, get it done by. I also do a lot of the background art and work a lot on the game's design, the dialogue, the script, um, laying out panels, so a little bit of everything. I'm in charge of character art and a little bit of storyboarding and design on the project. I am the programmer for the game. Uh, I design the engine for the adventure game as well as the tools used by our designers to bring it to life. Um, so the basic mechanic of our game is that it's an interactive comic so every single time that you make a choice in the game the next panel is generated based on your previous decisions, your previous actions. So as they progress they will be generating a graph novel of their own that they will be able to print out when they, upon completion of the game and they can view any time while playing the game. The game is basically a point-and-click adventure game. A lot of it's investigating, talking to people, sleuthing around. So Paige is your average American teenage girl. Something happens to her little sister and she wants to investigate. That spurs her into this kind of quest to discover what's going on in town and eventually leads her to discover that human trafficking is very much alive. Since she doesn't have superpowers or AK-47 in her back pocket. Her main weapon is her smartphone. Uh, so the smartphone has several different apps that will be available in the game. The first one is the navigational app, similar to when you, you, know, you look at maps on your own phone and you can kind of see where you're going, but for us it's a navigational tool in the game. Uh, so you, the player selects the location and Paige can travel there. She can change the time of day to see different people depending on what time of the night or day it is. Uh, she can take notes, she can take pictures. In the beginning, the reporter character advises her to document what she sees. Throughout her investigation, she discovers this child slave and empower her to make a phone call to call for help. And so a lot of this is about is looking for the signs that someone might be a slave and knowing how to get them to contact authorities. Before I started work on this game, I had I was like most people, and I thought that slavery, you know, it's, it's over, it's done, it's, it's solved, no problem. Um, but then when Katie and Sharon came to me to work on the game, I discovered that that's not the case, that slavery is happening right now in the United States. And the main catch is that it, a lot of the cases go unreported. And as we see the advent of technology, we see more and more of these cases being reported because these people do have the empowerment that technology gives them. Paige is given a cell phone in the beginning by her parents to keep her safe and uh, she uses that technology to more or less navigate her way around and to in turn impart that power later on in the game. Uh, so the demo is only going to show a small part of the story but we'd like to add on to that and uh, continue on with new chapters and uh, move further along into the eventual very large and very interactive plot that we have planned. We have more characters and backgrounds that we intend to add as well. And we will have other features such as ver the characters will have different facial expressions to, in order to get more of the comic feel from the game. Through the Imagine Cup, we could bring to light an issue that not many people are aware of. And it's a great way to get the message out there that this is a problem, it does exist, and there aren't many other venues that we could talk about a problem like this.